What is going on guys? It's Asylum. Today I'm going to be making an updated video in regards to this video I posted in November. Splitting audio inputs for your audio interface. So that's your channel 1 and channel 2. So my, my device I'm using is a Scarlett Solo. So my first input is an XLR for my mic and my second input is a quarter inch um, input. And I was doing this rudimentary way of splitting them separately so I can control the volumes independently. And I had a comment on my video from IMX Prime. We had a discussion if there was a more efficient way of doing things. The only way that I know how to do it was this method right here. And yes, it does work, but it's a little too complicated and it requires additional software and it's, it's, it's not ideal, right? So he decided to email the people at Voice Meter directly, and they sent us to page 20 of the user manual, which I can't believe it was right in front of my face the entire time. I was using such a complicated way of doing it. So basically, they tell you to set your A1 device as your ASIO driver, and that driver is what you get from the manufacturer. It has to be the ASI ASIO driver for your device, otherwise it will not work because the default Windows drivers doesn't have the advanced functionality. So you wanna set your A1 to your ASIO, whatever device you have, you wanna make sure it's the ASO, ASIO driver selected. And then from here, you go to the menu and go to settings. And this is where we actually separate them. So if you see right here, you'll see ASO Focusrite USB ASIO as your A1 out. That's what we just selected here. For the patch ASO input to strips, the strips are essentially these right here. This is strip one, strip two, strip three. You see it right here, one, two, and three. So basically, you're gonna patch the inputs on your device. I don't know what device you have. Mine is a Scarlet Solo. So you're gonna patch my first channel into strip one. So make sure one is selected on both of these because it's the left and right channel. So all you do to change that is you just click on it. And you notice that I only have two inputs so it only cycles through two. If you have more, I'm sure you can do it on the strip three. So you just click and cycle through the one you want. And you'll notice here that it updates, right? one and two so that means that my mic is being mixed on the left channel and that second input is being mixed on the right channel so you can configure it however you like but the whole point of this video is to show you how to separate them independently so one and one is on the left and right channel for my input so you see that this is strictly my mic and it's literally that simple i can't believe i was just using such a complicated way of doing it i uh i can't take credit for this because like i said IMX Prime did email the people and that's how we got the answer. I did get permission to make a video and I told him that I would uh, shout him out because he's the one that found it. But it's literally that simple. You go set it A1 as your ASIO uh, driver. You come into here and you patch the first input to both left and right on strip one and you do the same on strip two for your second input. And that's it. From here you can mix it, you can send it wherever you want, you can change your effects on the individual inputs here you can I mean it's literally that simple I can't believe it uh it's that easy but yeah I'll leave all the relevant links in the description I'll leave the user manual in the description uh, but big shout out to IMX Prime and that's that's it thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped if you guys have any issues please leave a comment and I promise I'll get back to you other than that I'll catch you guys later